If you are new welcome make sure you subscribe so you can become a part of the BA squad so today I will be doing a maintenance video where I will be showing you guys what my at-home maintenance is like I'm gonna be getting rid of these old acrylics I cut them short or cut them down like a few weeks ago and now it's just time to get them off and then we're gonna be taking out these lemonade braids that I got for my birthday uh, about a month or so they made me break out in hives because of the synthetic braiding hair so we're going to be doing some skincare we're going to wash and condition our hair i'm going to show you guys how i remove my acrylic nails at home everything will just be an at-home maintenance vlog so to start off i'm going to take these olay daily facial uh, makeup remover uh, water activated dry cloths and i absolutely love them you guys because literally all it takes is for you to just put it under water in it just sets up it's just the easiest makeup remover i love it and right here as you can see i have this oily old makeup on so i'm going to take one of the cloths and i'm just gonna begin to remove my makeup from that day guys so now that the makeup is off we're gonna go ahead and prep our face and get ready to do our skincare and before I do that I gotta put these braids up y'all because they are literally always in the way I'm so ready and excited to get these off and I also gotta get me some wine you already know the vibes gotta get me a cup of wine and sip on my wine get relaxed and it did kind of hit me the first little uh swallow it, it was a little strong but as y'all can see i got a lot of redness a lot of irritation and just a few bumps from the braids y'all like my face was so itchy this past month like i was so ready to take these out and i'm just so happy that it's time but we're gonna go ahead and get into skincare i'm gonna take my du du duval or duval spin brushes and i'm gonna use my facial cleanse brush to go in and wash my face i didn't show you guys at first what i used to kind of wash my face but um here i'm just getting my face prep getting it wet so that it's not dry and i don't know how to pronounce the name of the brand but all the girlies was using this when it first came out i don't know how to pronounce it but you're gonna see me show the product after i kind of get my face all studded up
once my face is all set it up i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the product that i'm using um i love this because it definitely feels like you're getting all the dirt all the oils off of your face before you really get into your um skincare routine okay so now that my face is all clean i just want to show you guys the difference from when my face had all the makeup and all the dirt on it and now it is pretty clean now i'm gonna take this foot scrubber just kidding I'm gonna go in with the exfoliating brush that comes with the kit and i'm gonna use this to exfoliate and deep clean my skin i really love this because it feels like it really gets deep into your pores gets all my blackheads and i'm gonna use the clean and clear daily pore cleanser y'all i absolutely love this i've been using it for a while now um, and just as a disclaimer or just like a beware type thing, this brush, like the exfoliating brush is pretty rough or thick. Like I can't really explain it, but it's like the bristles are like thicker and harder and tougher than the like regular wash spin brush. Um, so just beware when you're using the product, try to be a little bit more gentle because it did, it didn't hurt, but I didn't want to cause any additional irritation to my skin, but it definitely feels like you're getting like a good cleanse and a deep exfoliation with this brush. So absolutely love it. Once we get done exfoliating our skin, I just want to show you guys again my skin. You're starting to see a lot of discoloration. The bumps are slowly going away, but you can kind of see some discoloration in my skin. Now we're going to go in with the Timmy Blends Detox Mask, and I absolutely love this. Y'all have been using it for a while as well. It definitely detoxes your skin. It just gets that extra clean, extra soft feeling in your skin. We're going to sit for a while, sip on our wine, um, while we wait for our mask to finish. And while we're breaking, I want to show you guys my baby Chanel. She's turning one this week, so make sure you guys wish her a happy first birthday in the comments. After we get that mask all removed, I just want to show you guys again some discoloration and redness, but it's okay because we're going to take some ice so we can get these bumps to go down. I definitely went to Google and I Googled, you know, how to treat hives at home and they told me that if you use like a cold compress, um, it will help the bumps. But I've been using ice on my face for a while um, and I have seen a difference in my skin. It does glow different. It does feel different. This is something that is really good to add to your skin regimen or your um, skincare routine just to kind of, I don't know the benefits, but I would definitely list them in the description box to be specific, but I know that ice does help your skin in some way. gonna go in with some moisturizer the dual action moisturizer and the Timmy blends um, infused oils to kind of get our face moisturized and so we can use it as a base so we can shave our face this will be my first time shaving my face and I did accidentally cut myself well one of my moles and I was bleeding a little bit but it's all fine and it's all good in the hood can y'all please also ignore this big old booger that's screaming at y'all in my nose please
we get the moisturizer and oil all worked into our skin, we're going to take one of our razors and we're going to begin shaving our face. I did go on YouTube and I looked up how to shave your face and I came across one video where this girl was basically saying to like hold your razor at like a 45 degree angle and it helped because I got the job done. Um, I did accidentally cut myself again with um, the razor on one of my moles on my mustache area but she was good, she was fine. see that blood but just please ignore it and now we're gonna get to these braids y'all no lie it took me a day to literally take these braids out but here they are they're out y'all i had a lot of gunk a lot of dirt and just so much stuff in my hair y'all because i greased and oiled my hair so much while my braids were in but now we're gonna try or attempt to like detangle our hair after we get to these nails because i didn't want to wash my hair and my hair was gonna get caught on my nails on my acrylics so we're gonna go ahead and try and detangle our hair as you can see a lot of the curls from the braids are still kind of like together so my job was to try and like detangle and comb out the twist y'all know how it is when y'all first take y'all braids out everything is still very much like stuck together the braid because it was braided for so long so i'm gonna try and just go through and start at the end of my hair and work my way up and detangle my hair Ever since I was little, I've always had like a tender head and I've always been, you know, as we black people know, tender headed. And so this kind of became a struggle for me because when times like this come, my head is pretty much raw from trying to take out my braids and it made it really hard to detangle my hair. So at this point, I told myself I'll just stop because it, it was hurting. And that's one of my main struggles is having a tender head and it makes things like this really hard. So I decided I'm just pause, go to my nails and I'll just revisit this when it's time to wash my hair because I just couldn't take the pain. Like it literally hurt so bad. And I knew that the back of my head was gonna be 10 times worse.
So y'all, at this point, I was just ready to be done, okay? I was just ready to be done. So after combing out like not even half of my head, I got this much hair while combing it out. So I'm pretty sure once I did my entire head, it was gonna be a lot more. But, but this is pretty much the dead hair that was in my head while my braids were in. So at this point, I was just frustrating, ready to be done and get on to the next thing, which were these horrible, hor horrible, 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 horrible nails. So first, because I have all that gunk and stuff, oil, grease, whatever, on my hands, I went ahead and washed my hands just to kind of start off with clean hands. Y'all, wash your hands, please. Wash your hands. So yes, um, started off with washing my hands. And I don't know if y'all noticed, but I do have diamonds that are still on my nails. And y'all, the nail tech, I think she wanted these to stay on my hand forever because I just, I didn't know what to do to get these off. But this is my little setup. Um, I didn't have much, but we're gonna have to just do with what we have. So these are my nails, a mess. And if you see my birthday nails, um, I'm gonna probably insert a picture. You will see that um, I had like diamonds on my nails, huge, huge gems. Um, and so the nail tech, she had to add like an extra layer of acrylic to get the gems to stay, if that makes sense. Like she didn't use like just glue. She used acrylic to put the gems on and get them to stay. So that is that. That is the extra like lump of acrylic on my nail. So I was attempting to try and get that along with the gems off. But as y'all can see, I was struggling and what I was using, the nail uh, clippers were not working. So I had to just kind of use what I had, which was the acetone. That is what I ended up deciding to just go in with. It is 100% acetone, pure acetone. It is glitter polish, nail polish, gel polish, all that polish, whatever it removed it. So we're going to just allow um, my hands or my nails to soak into this acetone for about 30 minutes to just kind of loosen up the acrylic. Pretty much ended up just soaking and then trying to scrape off the rest of this acrylic, but y'all, it wasn't working. Sis, I tried to soak, I tried to sit there and let it come off, but nothing, like it, it just wasn't working. So I had to move on to another step, which I'm sure some of you may be familiar with. I literally just took a plastic nail from like this nail kit I had, and I just kinda, I don't know how to explain it, I just kinda, use that nail to kind of slide it under or through the acrylic or my natural nail between where my natural nail and the acrylic meets. I just slid that nail in between that and was just gradually slide it in. It was painful on the scale of one to 10, it was like a two. And so I just gradually slid that under there to get it to pop off and eventually they popped off and this allowed for my entire nail to still be intact. I didn't have any kind of nail damage. Um, yeah love this method it works it's a little painful but it works and it's fast quick cheap easy so if y'all trying to get your acrylics off this is probably like the best way to get your nails off and then have if you're the type of person who cares about your nails still being like long or whatever and not having like your nails all broken off when you take your acrylics off this is the method for you
able to get all of my acrylic nails off, cut some of my nails down, put some oil on my cuticles, and just kind of get right. And now it's time to get back to this raggedy, ratchet, I don't know, hair, y'all. I was looking like Effie from freaking Dream Girls, y'all. But I went in and I took my olive oil shampoo. It contains rice water, which is what I really love. So I use this, and then I use this lavender and rosemary conditioner. And I went in and I washed my hair off camera. Y'all, this part, I, I, I don't know what happened. I, I don't know what I'm going to explain to you, how I'm going to explain it. But I just, I'm new to this whole transitioning journey. As y'all can see, I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. So this is part of the video where it kind of much, or it pretty much ends because I was struggling. I didn't know what to do with my hair. I really just wanted to show y'all um, a nine month transitioning head. Um, I had to kind of start uh, cutting some of my hair because I haven't been cutting my hair. So my hair is just as confused as I am. I haven't gotten a perm in nine months. So my roots are super natural and my ends are super relaxed. Um, if you guys have any suggestions in the comment section, let me know, please, please let me know. Maybe some hairstyles I could do, some products I could use to just help detangle my hair because I don't know what I'm doing. And so this is pretty much the end of the video. You guys can, you know, watch me struggle, but that pretty much wraps up everything. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, feel free to comment down below. the remainder of the video i'm just pretty much showing you you know an update of my i don't know what kind of curl pattern it is but just an update on my hair what my roots are looking like and just me struggling to detangle my hair and i heard that with transitioning hair you have to be really careful when detangling because the part or the section where the relaxed hair and the natural hair meets is very fragile so my hair is just pretty much tangled and i'm trying my absolute hardest to be as gentle as possible but I just couldn't do it, y'all, so I, I grabbed those scissors and I went to cutting, and the rest is history. Just cutting down, trying to get rid of some of the relaxed hair, and I'm trying to avoid doing the big chop because I want to keep some length, y'all, but it's honestly a struggle trying to just maintain transitioning hair and just like the maintenance it comes with <laughs> in this maintenance video but i hope you guys enjoy again if you guys have any kind of suggestions for my hair please let me know down below um and also don't forget to follow me on instagram at the and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>